everybody, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. You know what, we bring you cool guitars, but we also get basses. Now, let me ask you this. How would you like to take a look at a 1963 Fender Jazz Bass? That's right. I couldn't wait to bring this one to the uh, studio and demo this. This guitar is just absolutely awesome. Uh, I'll admit right away, I sure wish it hadn't been refinned, but you know what, it was, and so what? This guitar has everything you want in a 1963 bass without the gigantic price tag that you'd be getting if it had the original Sunburst or something on it. Uh, but anyway, this bass uh, was uh, a single owner uh, bass. Uh, the guy that had it, uh, lots of musicians said, I know that bass. I played with a guy who, uh, who had that bass. Uh, he played in a lot of country bands uh, around uh, the Des Moines area. He played in a lot of Elks clubs and, and uh, a bunch of bars. And, and a lot of the guys that I run around with uh, and uh, they find guitars for me said, I know that bass. And I played with that bass. And boy, is it cool. And it really, really is. He took great care of it. Uh, and everything is here except the finish. Um, it has the pickups. It's got the knobs. It's got the thumb rest. You never see that it's got the uh, covers I mean really 1963 covers they're still here uh, the pick guard is still here it's missing one little tip right here that must have broke off at some point in time uh, the pots we dated uh, to uh, 1963 uh, and uh, uh, the neck however uh, is a real late 62 I think it was December is what we found uh, you'll see it in the pictures uh, so it's a 1962 neck uh, on a 63 uh, uh, alder body, maple neck, and uh, I'll tell you what, this bass is really, really cool. It's got the L plate on the, uh, uh, serial number plate on the back that we're able to date to 1963. It's got the 19, uh, uh, correct 1963 tuners. It's even got the strap button up on the head. Those are always missing. So you can attach your strap here or at the head, uh, which is really cool. And uh, it's just, an, what an awesome, awesome historic bass. I've got both pickups on right now. Let's turn the front one off. Let's bring the front one in. I could just keep doing that all day. Anyway, everything works. This is a blast to play. Now, let's talk about the frets. The, uh, it has never been refretted, which I'm happy to say. Uh, the frets are in really good shape. I would guess that he used flat wounds on this uh, bass. The, the frets just have absolutely no pitting whatsoever. We put some new strings on it. Uh, you know what, they were flat wounds that we took off, which is why the frets are in such nice shape. Uh, and then uh, the original nut is here. Uh, it's just the decal, oh, thank goodness he didn't touch the head. Uh, if he'd taken the, the uh, Fender decal off, that would have just destroyed the value of this, uh, this bass. So I'm happy to say that that's here. Uh, it's worn, as you'd like to see. Uh, he did refinish the back of the neck, the back of the head, and the entire body. Uh, so that's been refinished. But uh, other than that, I mean, it's all original. It's got uh, clay dots, which you want to see on the 60, uh, the early 60 uh, uh, necks. Uh, these were uh, uh, 60, after 63, they went to uh, the plastic ones. And uh, this has the clay dots. So it's, uh, it's just absolutely 
fantastic. It's got some wear on the back, probably where his big uh, belt buckle was. Uh, so you got some uh, some buckle rash back here, uh, but you know nothing damaging at all. I mean, it's just you know no real bad dings, no wood is missing out of it. Um, it's been around and uh, it shows it, but you know what? It uh, it's a player's base and it is in just really 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 cool shape. Now I've also got I'm happy to say the original case with it. Now. Uh, I know you're going to say, oops, that's not the original case, it's supposed to be white. You're right, in 1963 the cases were white. Uh, there's a couple uh, things that could have happened. Uh, this is an SNS case. Uh, now SNS were uh, made over on the East Coast. Now a lot of times uh, the player said, I don't really want that white case, I want a black case, and so they gave him an SNS case with it. Another reason why uh, that might have had that SNS case is uh, this guitar might have been uh, geared up to be shipped overseas. Now. Uh, they sent it over uh, from California to the East Coast where they mar married it up with an East Coast case. Someone told me that is possibly what happened as well. But it is the original case. Uh, it uh, came with the base. It uh, uh, came uh, uh, from the uh, family that said uh, that base has never been in anything else except that case. So we know it's original. Uh, it's all here. Uh, it has one broken latch, which I do have a replacement latch. I'm going to have Jeff the Tech do that for us, hopefully before it sells so I can get that fixed. Uh, but the other two latches are here. The original handle, the hinges, everything's on here. Correct. Look at that cool royal blue color in here. Oh my goodness, this is just a beautiful, beautiful case. Uh, the accessory box is here. Uh, there's the little uh, latch I'm going to put on there. And it has the S&S &S, uh, quality... Uh, cases from Brooklyn, New York uh, sticker in there, so we know uh, that it is an SNS case, and it fits the base absolutely perfectly. So, you know what? You get this really cool case from uh, 19, the early 1960s, and you get a 1963 Fender Jazz Bass. I mean, how many bass players have always wanted a 1963 <laughs> Fender Jazz Bass? I'm not even a good bass player, and I would love to have a 1963 Fender Jazz Bass, uh, but I'm going to share. So uh, check this one out at www.lawmanguitars.com. For those of you who are watching this uh, somewhere else besides my website, I hope you'll go to my website and check it out. We've got tons of really cool uh, basses, guitars, accessories. I sell strings in there from Dr. Ducks. We get all kinds of cool stuff. And while you're in my website, uh, if you uh, don't feel like uh, buying something at the moment, which I hope you do, uh, you know, you might sign up for my newsletter. I send out newsletters to all my uh, uh, people that uh, sign up for it. We talk about uh, different cool things about vintage guitars, some behind the scenes stuff, the new stuff that's coming. So if you'd like to hear more about cool guitars, put your email address down and we'll see to it that we get you a newsletter. So uh, check in and all our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com and thanks a lot for watching my videos. I really appreciate it.